Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man Prime Time, and you already know you on Prime Time Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video. And you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. For prime time to this day. Oh man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? Man, look, it's been a lot going on in boxing, and it's been a lot that haven't been happening in boxing that we want to see. And uh, I tell you what, one fight that came up across my radar that, <laughs> you know, I've heard about, you've heard about, and we all heard a little whisper and the screaming of one of the twin out of lions only none other than Jermail Charlo and you know and he said undisputed versus undisputed that could be a big thing in boxing if that it can't be because he can he can't beat me you know look at his last performance so yeah so basically you know it, you know, it, it's going to have to be Eddie Hearn to put something like that together, you know. But Charlo, he's screaming for Canelo as usual, you know. He wants that big profile name. He wants that big payday, you know, like Canelo calling himself, payday, you want payday, payday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true, you know. Um... Even though it would be a good fight uh, for Canelo to fight Jamel Charlo, undisputed versus undisputed. But at the same time, you have David Benavidez, you know, screaming for Canelo fight, saying that, you know, let's give the people what the people want. <laughs> and, uh, you know, yeah, a lot of people do want the Canelo versus David Benavidez fight. Um, I will agree to that. But at the same time, it's not nothing so tangible that Canelo wants from that side. You know, it would be more or less greater to David Benavidez benefit than it would for Canelo and that's one of the reasons why you know Canelo won't make that fight is because of that you know what is in it for him <laughs> see that's what people got to realize you know yeah maybe what the fans want yeah maybe what you want but what is in it for Canelo it's gonna have to be a payday payday for him in order for him to take that type of fight. And the same thing goes for Jamil Charlo. It has to be an upside for Canelo as well. Legacy fight, you know, which Undisputed versus Undisputed is enticing. It does sound uh, promotable, but, you know, it's hard to see, you know, Canelo jumping for joy for that. And then on the other side of the coin, you got the other twin, Jamal Charlo, and, you know, you got Janet Beck. He, he's talking about unifying the middleweight title. He like, I want to fight Jamal Charlo and get the WBC title. This will be pretty easy work. Mm. I, I, I would like to disagree with that, you know. Just because we have not yet seen Janie Beck fight someone notable enough um, that <clears throat> we're warned that fight. You know, I would like to see um, maybe Janie Beck fight, um, you know, uh, a Jamie Mungia. You know, it's 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 hard to it's hard to really see Jenny Beck in the ring with Jamal Charlo just yet. Because, you know, really he hasn't had a high profile fight at all just yet. 
and you know hopefully he can you know get the fight that he wants off I feel as though he can get that fight but he has to build up his profile a little bit more because you know pretty much probably what he's he's asking for maybe more than what he's worth at the moment to a lot of promoters and a lot of fighters you know um a lot of it don't be just because you know these fighters are out of their league and things of that nature it's more or less because you know the fighter may be asking for a big payday but it may not fit him just yet so you know i i would i would like to I would like to see a lot of these fights get made, definitely. Um, but, you know, at the same time, you know, you know, think about, you know, Montiel. It's a lot of other fighters that, you know, I think um, Janny Beck could fight to warrant that Charlo fight. Um, I just don't feel like guys should be giving fights anymore, you know, just because, oh, I got a belt. Eh, yeah, but that's good and dandy, but who have you fought? You know, what have you done to raise your profile to warrant that type of fight? You know, so that's that's my thing about that. Um, but I would say, you know, maybe um, later this year, first of next year we get that Janny Beck versus Jamal Charlo that would be a good fight you know um I'm not gonna hate on the fight at all you know but you know uh, like I said you know it, it, I think Janny Beck just needs to fight you know like Montiel or, or Austin Trout you know somebody somebody off of that list that you know, Jamal Charlo has already beat himself. That way, it won't be no more questions of that. And we can go ahead and get that fight. You know, that's that's what it should be like. You know, so yeah, I would like to see the, the twins, you know, get in that ring and get some good fights. But I think they have other fights that they can go ahead and jump on first. Uh, to get them in the ring and get them out of their inactivity. And uh, the reason why I said, you know, Keith Thurman and Charlo Twins all got in common is, is they want to fight people that really don't want to fight them. And, you know, Keith Thurman, you know, he did a little interview. He said, you know, if I fought Spence when he called me out, you know, when he was a nobody, you would have got paid no money for that. You wouldn't, you wouldn't even got what you got, you know? But then you fight Thurman today, you make more money than Thurman. So I think wherever Keith Thurman is, you should probably thank him. <laughs> hey, man, Keith Thurman, boy, I tell you, man, he can talk a talk. You know what I mean? That's what I always used to love about Keith Thurman. Uh, back in the US, USA boxing days, you know, he used to uh, appear up, up there a lot of different USA fights on, on TV or whatever. So, um, you know, he can definitely sell a fight. He can definitely talk and promote. And he's definitely like, uh, you know, what I was saying about Rolly Ramiro, one of the most entertaining fighters that can talk the talk and walk the walk in that ring, perform and fight, you know, um, to the top of his ability as well. So, you know, um, <laughs> Keith Thurman, man, look, hey, I get it, man. I get it. He's trying to get that payday, payday. You don't want no small fights. And, you know, true, he did not lose his WBC belt, so he's trying to get a fight with that. But he knows, you know, Earl Spence is standing on his square when he say he don't want no other fight but the undisputed fight. You know, he said give him undisputed, and then after that he can talk about the other fights. So I totally 
get what Earl Spence is doing, and I totally agree with him, you know. When you got your mind fixated on something, you don't let nothing deter you off of that road and that that plan to get that. So, um, and he's standing on his square also um, just because he feels as though Keith Thurman didn't give him a shot at that time, so why should he give Keith Thurman a shot now, so... It is what it is. You know, what comes around goes around. What goes around comes around. And with that being said, that's all I got for you in this video. You already know the routine. When you leave my house, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV. And I'm on social media everywhere. Definitely go to the website, primetimetalktv.com and copy some merch. All right, y'all. Peace, love. I'm out till next time. It's